Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn what is a nested for loop, right? The meaning is very clear, for loop inside a for loop with a very nice example which is going to help you to build your logic, okay? That is very important and if you would like to become a programmer, how, how well you can build a logic is very important as a skill set for a developer. Okay, so myself Rakesh, please, um, you know, I welcome you back to my channel, Automate with Rakesh. Guys, please do support by hitting on the subscribe button. Try to subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest content I upload on a regular basis. So let's get started. Okay, so nested for loop. Now we should have some practical example to understand. It's not just about syntax that we should learn. We should also learn some practical examples. Okay. So let me give you one example. Let's say I'm going to create a list and I'm going to enter a few numbers. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, right? There are, these are the four different numbers I have entered in a list. Now I'll give you one more list. This list will have some random numbers. Okay, it doesn't matter how, but it'll have some random numbers. Something like that, you know, I'm typing, um, you know, some random numbers like that. Okay, so now your job is to find out, your job is to find out how many times one is present in the second list. So if you count how many times I have one, one, two, uh, here it is three, here it is four. So one is present four times. How many times two is present? Only one time. How many times three is present in the second list? Two times. How many times four I have? Zero times. Now tell me how will you create a logic in python to build this right so this is where so pause the video um, you know think for some time and and see what is the logic can be built so you actually need a nested loop so let let's see that how this can be done okay now first of all what i will do uh, i will use a for loop okay so the for the first one i will say 4a in um, in this list okay 4a in this one and for the second one i will put a colon hit on enter okay and for the second one i'll say 4b in this one so what is happening i am trying to run a first loop that means the first value to a will come as one right the first value will pick and a will have one and the inside that i am running another for loop and i'm saying it should pick the value to the b so here from this array from from this list the first value which will come is zero the second value which will come is one like like that will be coming okay put a colon mark hit on enter now what i want to do in this specific one right in this, in this specific one i would like to compare okay now just imagine okay your imagination imagination power is very very important now so now tell me what is the first value just imagine we are running it for the very first time so what is the first value in a will be one so a is one now I have a loop inside this. So this entire loop has to complete. Then only it will go to the first loop. Only when this inside the inner loop is complete, it will go to the outer loop. So inner loop has to complete. So the first value from the inner loop which will come is 0. So what we will do, you will, you will use a um, if condition. So I will say if a equals to equals to b. That means it will say the a value is 1. So it will say first time when it runs, a is not equals to equals to b. But when the second time it runs, it will say, okay, 1 is equals to 1. So when this meets the condition, I would like to use a counter variable, right? Counter is equal to counter plus 1 or you can write counter uh, plus equals to 1. This is also another way to write. So counter is equal to counter plus 1 also you can write or this way also you can write okay now this counter variable what i will do on the top i am going to give it a value i will say counter is equal to zero the default value will be zero okay so what is happening here just imagine one has been picked and it's going to compare with all of this with the inner loop the first time it comes it will be zero so it will not come to this loop uh, to the if condition second time it will pick one so one is equal to b a equal to b one equals to one then it will be it will improve the counter to one that means i found one first time then the second the third time when it runs then the value will become one to two so it has found two times like that will keep on comparing with each one the moment a equals to b that that time it will become one okay so okay so let's see this 
So what I will do, the counter value is increasing. It's a global variable. I have kept it on the top. So it is going to increase. So once it increases, I'll hit on a backspace. Okay. So where I should type this, I should type this inside the primary four, right? So it should type, hey, A is found so many times. So this is the inner loop. So I'll skip the inner loop. I should print it in the outer loop. So I'll hit on backspace. I'll hit on. So here I'm going to write, I'll say print. Okay, I'll say print. What I want to print, I will say a, a is the variable, comma, is present, is present in, present uh, so many times, right? He is present, I will say, then I will say comma, and then uh, which is keeping how many times? The counter variable is keeping that data. So I will say counter, I'll use the counter name. So that means a is present three times. So I'll put a comma, and in double code, I'm saying times. Getting it? So this is how. So let's see the output. So there is something still wrong. Okay. I will show you what is wrong. So first of all, let's debug it. Always good to debug as a beginner. You know, one should always debug and try to see. So I'm going to hit on debug. Okay. Now I'll hit on console in PyCharm. And then I'm going to, okay. Be before you hit on de debug, let me stop it. So before you hit on debug, what you do? You know, select a um, click on this line, the first line, and now I'm going to hit on debug. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to hit on uh, console and then hit on F8. Okay, so what is happening? Look at this. Let's understand. Okay, our understanding is more important than anything else. So, what I'm doing here, the counter value is zero. Okay, now if I hit on F8, the third line got executed and the A value is equal to one. Okay, A value is one. Now, if I hit on F8, then the fourth line got executed. The V value is 0. The first value of the array is 0. Okay, whatever the value is there, it is picking that. So, it's 0. So, what this will do, it is coming and saying A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0. Is A equals to 1, will the condition will meet? No, the condition will not meet. Okay, if the condition doesn't meet, what would happen? This block will run. This block will continue to run, right? This, this inner block should continue to run. So, if I hit on F8 again, Okay, B is equal to zero. This is not did not match. So, so you can see uh, right now B is equal to one because the B is, B is equal to one. The B value is picked second time is one. Now the counter is increasing. Okay, if you see if I hit on F8, the counter value has increased to increase to one. That means it found one time. If I hit on F8, it found second time. So the counter value has gone to two. Right. So li like that the logic will run. Okay. So I'll I'll, I'll fast forward okay so now what is the output it's saying one is present four times getting it so it is saying one is present for one two three four so it is able to calculate the logic so let me stop it so what is wrong with this logic tell me if i run it again what is wrong with this logic it's saying one is present four times two is present five times three is present seven times so there is something wrong so what is happening when it comes to the primary loop the outer loop it is still the counter value is not we are not resetting the counter value the counter value the first time has become four and still remaining so the counter value we need to reset here so what i will do hit on enter and simply say counter is equals to zero so i am trying to reset the value of the counter now if i run you will see there's a proper output one is present four times two is present one time is it correct two is present one uh, yeah, one time it is present. Now three is present two times. Three is present one, two times. Yeah, that's correct. Four is present zero times. So four is not at all there, right? So this is how the output has come. So hope you are able to build this logic, guys. So, you know, um, building logic is very important. Okay, that's where you have to spend a lot of time. If you have to spend one hour for just to build a logic, please do it. Because our brain has to develop itself to build logics. That is what a programmer would have a skill syntax and all is fine is they, they are required definitely but again uh, keep on practicing the syntaxes will be there in your fingertips you don't have to recall anything It'll autom you will be able to automatically type it. just that the logic you have to build the logic is something nobody will help you right you have to keep on start with small small exercises and by going through these exercises you will be developing your uh, you know logical power okay so thank you guys for watching and i hope uh, you guys have already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and support me 
uh, please hit on the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest content I am going to upload. So thank you guys uh, for all this support till now. We are going to meet once again in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.